Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Rise and shine. It's early morning on the moon. And we're back here with the crust. Hope you're having a great day. I've been taking a look at the base for a little bit. I'm actually going to pause it because I, I don't want to waste any time. I've been taking a look at everything. You know, sometimes you just got to stop and think it through, right? That's what they said on Sesame Street. If you don't believe me, ask Cookie Monster. Sorry, I'm a dad. My, my kid's watching Sesame Street, okay? Anyway, sometimes you got to stop and think it through. And so there's a couple of things I want to do in this video. For starters, we need to do a better job of getting this up and running. So this video, we're going to get this going, all right? We're going to start installing the things we need for life support and all that stuff, okay? The second thing we're going to do, and I'm only really adding this in because I, I scanned. I, I decided to pick up direction and I scanned. And when I scanned, I found these. Hello, titanium. <laughs> More titanium, yes. So we're also going to do this. We're going to break this open. I don't really need that much space. You know, a little bit of space here. Let's just, yeah, break that open a little bit. And then we're going to go in a straight line from here, I guess. We're just going to go like this. In a straight line all the way out like that. All right. We're going to cut in to the rocks. Let's get a couple of driller bots to do that. All right. We're going to expand our available titanium today. And in so doing, we're going to replace all of this because I don't like this. This idea that I have my, my drones will just pick this up and bring it over there to get the components made. No, 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 no. Let's, let's, let's plan this out to expand for the future. Okay. Let's not do this placeholder garbage. Okay. We're going to get this done and we're going to get it done right. All right. This is already disconnected. So I don't need to worry about disrupting plate production at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. We're just going to break down all this stuff. Yep. Even this thing. Uh-huh. And the, we're going to take this belt back. All the way back. All the way back to about here is good. Yeah. About here. All right. And then we're going to, once we get this, you know, area for titanium, once we get this cut out, we can then bring that source of titanium in too. And oh, baby, we got lots and lots of regolith that we can work with. Okay. It's going to be great. Now, since it is daytime, we can also go ahead and get that extractor going too. Next thing. All right. We need to talk about our trades, <clears throat> our trade. This thing here, this contract, it's coming up quick. Okay. We only got 23 days. I don't think we can make this much steel in storage in 23 days, as long as we're still making components. So I need to stop making components. Now I could do that by just shutting this down. I could just do that. And that's, that's fine. You know, um, but. What I'm going to do instead, I think what's better to do right now is to just cut the belt. That's going to drop the steel on the ground. Okay. Now that still leaves me with 48 steel sitting in storage here and breaking this thing down gives me an additional 10. That's 58 steel. That's going to put us firmly like that's going to be a really great thing to do. So now that we've made that extra component and I'm going to just wait for that to happen. Yep. Now we're going to go ahead and salvage this. By salvaging this, I get 58 additional steel that I can then put into that trade route. I've been thinking about how I want to make components. And I think I have a better solution anyway on how we can do this. Uh, also, I want to mine this out too. So let's let's get this going here just a little bit on this side. And we'll go about there. That's good. I want to leave these. There's a little bit of role play in this. I admit it's like you don't have to play this way. You can open the whole damn thing up. There's no consequence, but I think there should be, damn it. If you're going under the, under the moon like this, under the surface like this, you need to have some kind of load bearing pillar of some kind, right? Some land that's holding up everything. And so I'm leaving little patches like this and you now like around this area here, we're going to have a lot of the, you know, the, the lunar wall here is going to be kind of around this area. Although I am opening this up because I do want to, uh, build this just a little bit bigger eventually not right away but eventually i do want this bigger let's let's put it out about this far actually yeah right about about that far okay that's pretty good eventually we'll be doing that 
Okay. So, recap what we got going on right now. All right. We're digging in over here to expand titanium from that side. We've cut this out. Oh, and I can also cut this because this is a completely wrong extractor for water. We're going to get the right one in there too. That's going to give me some extra materials, uh, extra, extra stuff for that. Yeah. You get, uh, what do you get for breaking these things down? You get an extra 10 concrete for steel and a couple of components. Nice. Okay. So we're going to get all that done today. In addition, I want to build the expedition center. It says it allows me to equip and send expeditions. I think that sounds like a fantastic idea. It's not my highest priority, but by the end of this video, I absolutely want to have that done. So <clears throat> that's everything. Hi, social science lab. How are you? Director, it's good to see fellow survivors of the expedition. I'm uh, sorry, of, of the explosion. <laughs> I was thinking about the uh, expedition center. Uh, I've already been in touch with Professor Wilfrey, and I am aware of your proposal. Here's our situation. We require resources for a complete recovery from the incident, and we are also need a steady supply of industrial materials to maintain the complex. So to be clear, we're, our answer is affirmative. We are open to collaboration. Please uh, extend my regards to Alice. Those perpetually curious brown eyes are quite memorable. If only all my students shared her enthusiasm. Sweet. So we have acquaintances now on all those different, uh, the fundamental science, the engineering science, and, and uh, social science labs. But it looks like we can only cooperate with one of them at a time. That's uh, that's interesting. I'm not sure we're going to need to. I only say that because the tech tree is kind of limited. We're going to probably reach the end of it before I care about sciences. Speaking of sciences, this was a really cool thing that was pointed out. And I'm glad you did. I'm going to go ahead and get the online market going today. Because I really want to do that. Um, and then probably at that point, let's queue up some other things. Uh, let's get the, uh, what's more important here? I'm thinking right now we're doing large batteries, which is very important. I'm thinking probably, man, I don't think there's anything else that's important to me. Honestly, <laughs> everything else is kind of a side quest right now. We'll pop fundamental science blocks on there, I guess. Okay. Right, so something was pointed out to me. I thought it was really clever um and i love how they've implemented this so thank you for letting me see this currently we have an income of 660 blue science 600 orange and 320 green our current research project however is only using blue and orange we don't need green it also needs a different quantity of each of these so it needs 2600 blue and 4050 on the orange so if you have the same pace or in this case, I'm actually getting blue science faster in my income, right? What happens to the green when you're not using it here? What happens to that? Well, if I exit and let the game run for just a little bit of time, you'll find out. In the meantime, I want more steel here. So I'm going to salvage some stuff on the map. This right here, steel, steel. These are all silicon. We'll salvage them later when we need them. But right now I need a lot of steel for the trade. So I'm going to have them salvage all of this stuff. We can definitely get steel faster than, uh, than producing it by just salvaging this stuff at top. So we're going to do that now. And that should pretty much take care of all of our salvage operations with the exception of these silicon things here. All right. So let my drones get on that. Now, let's go in back into the research center, research tree. All right. What do you see happening on the left side of the screen? This is the reason why I had a boost to the launch pad or whatever later. And this is, again, this is all pointed out by a comment. So thank you for that. Um, we're not using the green for the top. So it's going to shove it into the second place one. Instead, this thing's getting progress from the green science. And like this one here, for example, uses all three. So what would be happening is once this thing's got its blue meter filled up all the way, the blue is going to start looking at this one. This one doesn't use it. Cool. It will then start looking at this one and it will start pumping it into fundamental science. Looks like blue's already filled here. So it will do nothing unless there's something to, to put it into, right? We have to have something to give to it. So this is why it's important to have lots of things queued up. I'll have rare, element, rare elements factory queued up, for example. A conveyor two can be queued up. And 
this allows us to use the science more efficiently by having this stuff not doing nothing so it will go down the list this is not a research in order list all of these things can theoretically be researched at the same time this is a prioritization list put it into this before this before this before this etc i love how they've done that i think that's a really good way of doing it i think that's an awesome way of doing it so hats off to the devs thanks for doing that uh i think i want more uh, generation here before this day gets done so let's go ahead and get some more generation electrical put in like that and let's have this be your big priority here i want these stuff this stuff built as soon as possible i'm actually going to take down the trade route just a little bit here so that they will hopefully get these solar panels put in because the day is well it's the day is going by all right so the social science lab is done we have our rover scout and i'd like to do some exploration here um we got the paid lab right down here we could head over there i think halfway through maybe i'll stop and do uh you know a scan of some kind right maybe we'll do i don't know a geologic geological exploration displays the regular richness for future extractions i don't know we can see what that stuff is all about i want to experiment with these tools uh so let's head over to the paid lab if i don't see it by the time it gets there great it gets there but otherwise i'm gonna stop it and halfway through and like search for objects and see what happens all right because i think that sounds like a good idea i'm fairly confident that this truck it, it, it's not going to be useful until we get to the demolished structure but i'm going to leave it here just in case uh I did it again it's escape needs honestly escape needs to bring you back to this default view i'm i'm so sick of it pausing right away bring it bring me back to the default view please <laughs> i beg you remembering to hit x is so burdensome i can't do it <laughs> i just my brain doesn't work this way okay okay i've destroyed all this stuff and this thing is full it can't do anything right now so let's fix that i want conveyors to now go uh let's see from here and then you're gonna head this way okay and what we're gonna do we haven't been able to cross these but we can go under them this is an underground conveyor and i can use the underground conveyor to you know go underneath this so that's what i'm gonna do also the soundtrack for this game is okay all right i don't have a huge problem with it it honestly looks like i can get this distance for free doesn't it it's not increasing the it's not increasing the cost anyway uh soundtrack is good i, I like it uh, this is the streamer mode right so it's not the actual soundtrack that most people have um unless you activate streamer mode um to, you know to avoid youtube music problems uh, but some of these tracks are really intense they're like michael bay epic movie intense and i i like this song like i like more chill stuff for this so i don't know i'm kind of hoping they get rid of that <laughs> anyways you can see like it looks like i get this distance for free which is actually pretty interesting so i'm gonna go ahead and do this and i yeah it's it's the same price so we'll do that we'll build this so this gives me an underground belt and that underground belt can i can put this in here for example and now it goes that direction underground to here and that's how i cross the streams so that's how we cross the the conveyors so now this conveyor is going to come all the way over about this far all right so this thing can just you know at least start pumping things through here and i want to make sure that this actually works so it goes in there and it should come out this side there it goes okay looks like they rotate as they do too that's interesting okay so over on this side i think i'm i think i'm good here maybe we'll let it make one more plate and then we're good here over on this side i need to set this up so that i i want i want here's what i want i want the single regolith refinery for titanium to share in the path for the slag that's coming out of it I want it to share it with silicon. So what I'm going to do, because I'm, I'm, I have a feeling we're going to need more silicon later too, is I'm going to take the single regular refinery right here. We're going to line this up, okay? 
And please tell me in the comments if, if you know the answer to this. I don't, but if you know the answer to this, can I slam these right up against each other and have it work? Or do I have to put the conveyor belt between them? I've been putting the conveyor belt between them because I feel like I need to. But if I don't need to, this is this is more efficient. Um, I'm going to do it anyway. So we're going to go one. And then also right here, we're going to go two. That sets up what I think I'm going to need for the silicon, which means which means this is where I want the titanium one to go. Okay. Right there. All right. So you can get rid of these two. So titanium goes here and then we're going to have the conveyor belt go right up into there. Okay. Done. And then we need to build this. Of course, this is going to produce titanium oxide from there. We, of course, need to create the titanium. So that requires us to put in, just like we did before, the smelting furnaces. All right. And we're going to put, I think, two smelting furnaces in here. It's probably a good idea. We're going to move it up to about here, I think. So the, the driller bots are clearing the way for me here. We're going to go one, two with that. Okay. This is going to come out first this way over to the middle here then in then over and i'm doing that because i'm planning on expanding it later and if i add another machine on this side it can then feed and then it'll be load balanced which is what i'm looking for so we're going to do it like that okay so the regulus is arriving we need this building done so it can begin processing it as soon as possible you guys are going to produce titan so let's just get that done there we go and then if you guys could kindly, if you could, if you could kindly do this first, that'd be great. Just, there you go. Get that out of my way, please. Thank you much. Alrighty then. So next thing to do, and let me just check the trade, make sure we're, we're good, right? 71. Oh, we have to, right, right. I, I prioritized, um, batteries, batteries, batteries. Did we get the research done yet? Not yet. I want that large battery because so the max output on these batteries is 10. I don't know what the max output on the big battery is because it doesn't tell me if I go, if I go here and hover over top, it doesn't say right, right here. It literally says limited output capacity 10. Maybe there's unlimited on this. I don't know, but it's gotta be higher than 10. I feel like it's gotta be higher than 10. So I'd like to get to that. That's why I'm researching it. Um, but on top of that, like it'd be nice to just have the batteries full during the day right and i don't think we're actually getting there it's days half over and we're only half full so maybe but eh, i don't know so what i'd like to do is uh get these things like that there we go i just don't want the icon up there um what i'd like to do right is, is keep expanding my production but i also need the batteries so uh i think i'm gonna make one more another kind of expensive but i want to make one one more uh two more <laughs> i'm gonna be greedy i want two more of these made as soon as possible because i want to take advantage of the uh the light while it's still here uh this isn't going to be able to come down so we're going to do it from this side instead that's fine and then i'll just connect that up and i can re rewire things later if i need to all right we're going to take advantage of that as much as possible and uh and then hopefully deliver this 15 days left <laughs> we'll see all right while we're building all this stuff we're not doing this right my drones only do a little bit at a time and they prioritize all other constructions ahead of the life support stuff so we need to do something about that too um let's get a pole put in i think i'll put it right up against it on this side though so it's not in the way uh, it's, it's just gotta be out of the way of the regulus. So this right here, looks like it's going to be out of the way. Yeah. This right here is out of the way. So we'll put it there and then, uh, we'll connect this here. And then we're also going to connect, uh, actually I can do it from here. Just connect that and then connect that there. Okay. So as soon as this pole is built, then, uh, 
we'll be good to go and processing that too but this is at least it's going to get it in storage so that the mining can continue and we'll work on getting that titanium set up later too okay i think we could probably pull back on the driller bots let's get some more usuals so we can have more people building and transporting you see them constantly going back and forth with the steel now these things are upgraded but i want to upgrade them further because they're both full so i'm gonna have one of them upgraded we're gonna go spend the 40k to upgrade one of these and then upgrading both of them would be nice but at least one of them for now and then once we make the trade maybe we'll do the second one too that steel is gonna be very helpful to have okay research complete that's gonna be that's gonna be that battery so i don't have a whole lot of time to charge it but if i can build it that'll be great um so these are bigger and it looks like i can put them like right behind there so if i if i stick, stick this like let's say one two batteries just these two for now uh we'll connect them like this so it doesn't really matter which one they build first and that way we can get them charging and they may not even build these during the day it's possible that they won't but it's fine so this song right here is like super epic like i just can I not have this epic song unless there's actually something epic happening? <laughs> It'd be really nice to... It's okay. Uh, all right. So this refinery right, is doing its thing. We need these up and running. Uh, I'm going to have to do this. Yeah. We're going to have to make this high priority as well. And we make them high priority so that they do this before they trade. Because they're, they're constantly trying to do the trades instead. But I, I mean, I can let the steel accumulate. There's already 55 steel in storage. We should be able to get that done in time with 55 steel left in storage. Absolutely. Actually, it just left, so we're good. Okay, perfect. So that contract is going to be completed, and I can invest that money into expanding my, uh, my stuff even further. Yeah, there's 70,000. Okay, so that contract is done. Now they've given me another one. Bound by purpose. 45 days, 144,000 credits. If I can do it in 45 days. Well, I have everything I need almost. The silicon is 180. I just need a little bit more components, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm working towards components right now. So, okay, cool. So we're on the right track here. All right. So with this stuff set up and creating what it needs to create. Yep. We're good. Now I just need to get that aluminum brought into a rolling mill, right? So this is how I want to play this. Now that we've successfully completed that contract. I need to go into production and grab the components factory and get that back in here. So we're going to flip it, get the steel on the correct side, and then we go like this. Okay. Let's have this come around and then into there. That's going to feed it steel, that it, the feed it the steel that it needs. And then we also get this punched out and into there. All right, good. That gives us our components. These things, however, are going to output their aluminum or sorry, their titanium. They're going to output their titanium this direction into a storage, which is going to be, let's say here, let's leave a little bit more gap. I could leave a little bit more space just to, I think that'll be fine. Uh, yes, it doesn't need to, it, as long as it's not in the way of this and it's not in the way of this. I think we're solid there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be fine. Okay. What we're going to do with the conveyor belt here. First off, this comes up. Uh, we could actually go straight in, can't we? That would be better. Let's let's do that. We'll go straight in like this. All right. And then this needs to come up and, and merge in over here too. But I have the... The stuff is in the way. So let's uh, let's get this out of the way here just do that so the driller bot should come over and do that now if it's not still busy with stuff over here which it looks like it is still busy with stuff over here that's okay oh i messed it up i didn't i didn't stop it <laughs> paid lab select the type of science points ah uh, i'm gonna assume i have to pay for this science and i'm not interested in paying for science i'm not gonna pay for science so we're gonna we're just gonna say exit on that it's fine um, let me see what you're, what you're mining. Okay. Tell you what, stop that. Cause you're not going to, we're not going to need it yet. And then come on over here and get this done. All right. So that I can, uh, move these resources. 
Now we're not slowing, like we're not, we're not slowing up here because we can still produce, right? So it's got an internal storage. From this storage, we're going, we're going to go. Now you see the reason for this whole thing to exist in the first place. We're going to come down here. And I'm, I'm going to kind of zigzag so I'm not in the way of this. I don't want to, I don't want to block it completely. So we can always do the, you know, the underground thing to get in there. But this belt is going to feed into there. Now I've got a storage for titanium that can feed this way into our components factory. And now we can more reliably create components without relying on the drones doing everything. Okay. That's what I wanted to get to if I could. So I got to that. So last thing to do is get the rolling mill done. So let's go ahead and tear this down and we're going to tear this storage out of the way too. We're just going to break all this stuff down. Come on. Give me that. There it is. Break all this stuff down so we can rebuild it over here. All right. So the rolling mill, we're going to have titanium. Let's start with the storage first. Titanium storage. I kind of want it to be here. It's a little weird. I know, but. I, I just, I don't want it to be way back here. I want it to be closer to the door. Honestly, it'd be really nice if I could do that. Let me see the research really quick. Fundamental. I want to get this lift for conveyor belts. Let's put that in there too. And you can see right here. Okay. So online market, uh, this is a perfect example of how this is working. So online market needs only green. So it's getting only green. Fundamental science needs all three, but it already has all of the blue and the orange. It's just waiting for green. So since this needs it and it's a higher priority, it's getting it instead. So the blue and orange is going to hit this one instead, which is all this one needs. So effectively, yeah, again, simultaneous research. I love that. Super cool. And then everything will just seamlessly shift, you know, down to the next one every time. Which is pretty cool. All right. So there's our titanium and we're sending the titanium first over to here. Let's rehook this up to power. We got it back online. We shouldn't need to disconnect it anymore. Everything should be A-OK -okay now. All right, 56,000. Should I upgrade one of these to make more steel? Yeah, make even more steel. My gosh, this thing is still? Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll make even more steel. All right, sweet. Now, over here, titanium. We need to get more set up over here. Now, maybe I shouldn't have done that for the steel because... Now I don't have a whole lot of money. <laughs> That's going to be a problem. All right. So first thing, let's go into the, uh, yeah, let's go into this and I want to go. Yeah. It's going to be like that. I guess please have enough money for the conveyor belt. Uh, I do. Yes, I do. Cool there. And then into there that is going to add to our titanium regolith. And we're just going to go like this. Uh-huh. Give me all the way over there. Can I, can I get yeah, right there? Good. And then right there and then right there and then right there. All right, cool. That's going to hook up everything so that uh, we should have enough titanium flowing in now to potentially need even two of these machines. But I think instead of two of these machines, what we'll probably do instead is just upgrade this one when I have the money to do so. So until I have the money, it doesn't matter. But when I get the money, that's what we'll do. Okay. So last thing is the plates. How many plates do we currently have? 10, 10 plates. Okay. So let's go into not the right menu. Go into here, rolling mill. I think I'm just going to settle for now with the storage being right here. I, I don't want it there, but I'm just going to settle with it. So right here, and then we're going to go to storage and have that hooked up right here. And that'll just be the way it is. Conveyor from here to here. I can afford that from here to here. Can I afford that too? Ooh, boy. Down to 40 bucks. <laughs> $40. But you know what? It'll all, it'll all work out. Everything's, everything's good. Make sure this is set to titanium plates. Done. Now half of our aluminum goes to this. Half of our aluminum goes to this. And everything will be awesome. Okay, cool. With that out of the way, oops, hang on. Shit, I can't. Oh, no. Well, I, the drones can take it. <laughs> I can't hook this in. 
We're almost done because I need to be able to hook that in. But other than that, we're good. With this out of the way and all this stuff built, the drones will then hopefully focus on this and getting this going so that I can start looking at life support stuff. Speaking of life support stuff, the expedition center, they mentioned, I went back and, you know, look at the footage and stuff. They mentioned that this would be needed to find things out, out there. Okay. And there has been a fundamental misunderstanding that I've been having, and I'm going to fix that now from this point forward. Hopefully it's not too late. We've been talking to the survivors of hope Two. That's the station that was hit by all that rock and they had to evacuate, right? We've been talking to them <clears throat> about rescuing them and everything. Almost no conversation at all has taken place about rescuing the people who were here before. They did it at the very beginning and then everything was about hope too from then. For, at least for me anyway. So this counter, I was thinking, this is how long I have to rescue the crew of hope too. That's not true. That's not how this works. This, and even if I click this to get a, a readout, it doesn't say anything about the people that were here, right? With almost nothing, you have to take time to take part in the rescue operation with Crust. Find and rescue the survivors. Provide them with a shelter, with life support systems, etc. It just says the survivors. So I'm over here thinking, okay, uh, hope to. That's what we want, right? Huge asteroid hit the surface of the moon immediately after the start of your mission. The leftovers of resources and modules are all you found at the signal, okay? So, not hope to. This is the people who were here, MT4 or whatever it was called, right? So that's what we have to find. So in other words, uh, this counter is to find them and I can't do that unless I search for the survivors and I need the expedition center to do that. So the next thing to build, as soon as all of this stuff is done and running, uh, which I need power to do right there. Perfect. Nope. Really? Come on. Really? I, I realize you are one tile away. I get that, but you are you are also snapping. Okay. You can't have it both ways, game. You're snapping to there and highlighting it green, damn it. <laughs> Why are you doing that if you can't have it? <sighs> Shit. All right. Uh, you know what? It's fine. I'm going to need power over here anyway. So let's just go like this as long as you're not in the way of any... Well, with this belt here, you're not going to be in the way of this. This is going to go underground at some point. Uh, yeah, right there. All right, we're going to do that. Oh, are you really not going to connect? Well, shoot, you know, it's just going to be difficult with me now. All the snapping doesn't matter. Thank you. No, still no. All right, what's the deal here? Wait, the wire costs money, doesn't it? Does the wire cost money? I think the wire costs money. I think what's happening here is the wire costs money and I can't do it. So, <laughs> F me then. <laughs> Sorry, right. we're gonna have this there. Uh, we're gonna build that anyway, but I need money in order to hook this up. Apparently, um, I need to delete something. Is there anything that's redundant in this, this hookup here? I think you're redundant. You're pretty redundant. Let's break this down. We don't need that anymore. Hook you up here. No? You're not going to give me a refund for that? I would have kept it if I knew that. No? There's no refund for that? I guess not. Does, it didn't cost me any money. So I think the wires cost me money and... I have to salvage this, the wires. Uh, any any other wires that are redundant? How about... Uh... No, I mean, not really. Everything has one connection, right? How about up here? I bet there's a connection up here that's redundant. You know what? I bet there's... How about... Yeah, this is redundant. We don't need this. Can I get a refund for that? All right. Apparently... Having 40 bucks to your name is just bad for business, <laughs> apparently. Uh, so here's what I got to do. Clearly, we need to hit the contract. Now, we have almost enough silicon already. We have enough of the micro circuits. We're working on this. All right, fine. Is there something we can do right away, even if it's a short, a small amount of money? 
can we do it right away how about uh this 500 concrete we got that we have that let's do let's do this let's accept this and send him 500 concrete there you go oh over the weight limit interesting i suppose i probably can't actually pay for this because it's gonna cost me a thousand to send it right take it out of the profit just take it out of my profits that's fine i just need money okay send in the concrete so that i can get money and then we got this hooked up right yeah so we now have two of the bigger batteries and these have it doesn't say what their max output is that's interesting maybe we'll get that when it's got some charge maybe it has to get charged before it was installed during the night so i guess that's the case um we don't need any more drillers let's go ahead and get that guy back to being a usual and then obviously we're out of power pretty much everywhere here because i can't connect the stupid thing without cash <laughs> i can't connect the stupid thing without money i guess that's just how it goes so and we get no refunds for the the wires so all of that was for nothing <laughs> i got no refund for the poll no refund for like anything <laughs> it was just completely a waste of my time that's that's what happened just now all right well we'll see hang on so if i can deliver 400 concrete to you uh, then i need to deliver even more but this this is fine we're rapidly doing this this contract it should be fine uh but the next thing right i have to focus on we have uh 94 days remaining so the next thing we have to focus on is going to be getting that expedition center up and then also this i need to finish this room i need everybody to finish their jobs uh which is this is fine we, like this is the last thing we're doing uh before i start working on the expedition center is is that back wall and then uh we'll have that happening as soon as this trade is done all right so that's the order of operations this trade complete it send it and you know and bring another ship down for the extra 100 concrete uh complete that then have them complete this but before they do that i'll be you know connecting things with wires and then uh and then the expedition center i'll be right back okay so we have to send a little bit more of that concrete i haven't done that yet but i wanted to show you the map that we're working with here so i've got my rover now from the paid lab it was out of power so i needed to wait anyway so this thing is now sending up here to the demolished structure i'm pretty sure demolished structure is going to lead to us needing resources from that or getting resources from that so i'm just gonna you know call it a hunch if you will i'm gonna move this guy up here i can't actually set an expedition with this truck until we do the the drone but i can move it to a custom lo location so i'm just gonna get it right up on there and uh when we're done doing the the scout we should be able to immediately extract whatever resources are on this structure uh because if it's demolished there's bound to be you know rubble there or you know a spare concrete or something you know, I, I don't know what's in there but there's bound to be something in my opinion so we're gonna try to go for it all right research wise we're going lift for conveyor belts which is really cool i'm um, looking forward to seeing how that how that is uh and then mining speed vehicle factory yeah, i don't know about the vehicle factory I mean it'd be cool actually to be able to make my own vehicles but i think that's probably a little beyond my ability maybe resource wise you know um international trading license sounds good provides a discount and reduces the market commission for you allowing you to make better deals on the global market the amount of the discount depends on your global reputation let's put that on there i like that i haven't even looked at that yet uh medical block and bunk beds let's do medical block on there and then bunk beds why not okay so we'll get that stuff on the research table or in the research queue i suppose uh it is daytime we probably should take this opportunity to uh make sure that we are expanding our power right make sure that we're uh, ready to go with that i'm gonna go ahead and hook up these these little modules here i can't connect it because i don't have i need you to yeah p please pay me <laughs> there it is okay pause can i do it now yeah it does it costs 120 per segment on this yikes that's a lot that's more than i thought it would be all right so this wires are expensive now we know wires are expensive they cost something uh here we go go here 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 and here yep all right that'll connect all the power once we build all those things uh we're gonna drop also i want to get 
battery right here. Large battery. Let's get another one of you. Honestly, I'd love to get two of you because the power capacity, right? I want to see what that is. What is the output? 50. Okay. So you, one of these equals five of these when it comes to like actually distributing power. You're at max, you can hold 500,000. This is 100,000. It's literally one of these for five of these is literally what this is. Okay, cool. What's the difference in resources? As far as efficiency goes, how does, how does this work out? Uh, so it's four times the steel. So that works out in our favor. It is a little more than six times the silicon. So that's a little less efficient for resources. Plus we're adding aluminum, titanium plates, and 10 concrete. So, I mean, really the benefits of this, I guess, are the space that it takes up, but really like having more of these little batteries is not a bad deal. It looks like anyway, it's not a bad deal. Also, we can get more silicon if we uh, just salvage all this stuff. So let's maybe get some of this stuff marked for salvage and we can maybe get a contract with silicon too. Real quick, just give me the silicon here. Right there. All right, cool. Uh, all right, so there's nothing, there's nothing to trade yet. Um, I have 12 components. We have lots of sil we have enough silicon to send it. I think we start this process. Let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna send you the silicon and the microcircuits, and we'll send you the components. But I, I, I uh, let's wait on that. We we know we can load this stuff. So let's go ahead. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. No, it's gonna cost me a thousand each one, right? I think every time I send a cargo pod, it costs me more. So let's just actually make this maxed out. Let's go. Okay. So. Yeah, we're able to store steel. We're able to make it fast enough to store it. That's good. Um, I don't think that's a thing yet here. Let's make sure that we're connecting all the wires here. So this needs to be connected to this. There we go. And then you are connected there. It's going to start that power. Uh, we need power over here now because I missed, I just connected it. So there's that. Here we go. And everything is hooked up to power once more. All right. All right. Seems good. Over here, the, the place is not yet built. There's one corner not built yet. And then I can start. But actually in here, I can start because I do have life support stuff uh, enabled. So for life support, we have the electrolysis plant. It's going to take water, make oxygen from it. Makes sense. Uh, this is my utility room, by the way. So I'm going to place this right here. I think that's probably fine. Um, and then the water is going to be there. And we're going to want storage for that. So that's going to be right here. Water tank. And let's go one, two, three. Just in case I want three tanks. So I'll position that here for now. And uh, that's going to be my utility room for all my... Uh, yeah, there you go. For all my life support needs right there. So... Once the drones get to that, we'll be in good shape. Of course, they're going to do the trade first, which is fine. We need the money, so I'm, I'm all right with that. However, I would like you to build these batteries as soon as possible. So maybe we just take a quick detour from that and build the batteries instead. It'd be great. And yeah, there you go. Just a really quick detour so we can get them charging. I need them to have some charge. And let's also get them connected to uh, like this and like this. All right, there we go. All right, all right, all right. You don't have to spread the resources out amongst them. You know, you can just do one and then the other. It's fine. It's the titanium place that's going to hold us up, right? No, we have them. Cool. What else do we have? Like a lot of. Uh, micro circuits, rare earth, lots of slag, of course, regolith. Yeah, yeah. How's the map? Uh, we're up here. No, we're almost up here. Both of our vehicles are getting very close, but it's going to be nighttime soon. No. Not again. Damn you, nighttime. And I just got my batteries. Don't tell me this nighttime stuff. Just the way it goes. Yeah, yeah. So they can just charge at 50 as their max output. Uh, okay, so nighttime is going to come. I, I, I obviously need to have these batteries. Uh, I want them to be 100% every day. So as, if they're not getting to 100%, then that means I need more solar panels. I am building two more. In addition to delivering everything I can, silicon-wise, right there. Okay, uh, how are we doing over here? Uh, please don't run out of battery. You are full on battery. This is good. What is this? Tell me about the demolished structure. All right. In the crater lies a vast storage structure comprised of segmented modules. 
Emergency vehicles are scattered around the area, and a sign identifies it as Reserve Warehouse 45-17-2075, owned by Crust. The facility houses crucial supplies like steel, smart concrete, and modular framing. Designed for emergency use. Modular frames. Okay. We're going to have modular frames too. Okay, now at that point, this vehicle has done its job. There's nothing else for it to do, right? It's all about this thing now to go gather the resources from this. So cargo truck, come start expedition, go get resources, max out. They're going to get steel, silicon, whatever this is. I forget what that is. Uh, and then titanium plates is what it looks like. Uh, yeah, this might be... It doesn't look like modular frames. I don't know what that is. Anyway, we're going to max it out and we're going to go send. Okay, cool. What is that? I got to know. Rare earth elements. Interesting. What do we do with it? I don't know. Either way, we have that. Uh, now, I want this vehicle. <laughs> I want you to outrun the sun, please. I want you, little scout, to get back over here. Uh, because I don't know where we're supposed to go, but I'm, I want to be kind of centrally located when it comes time to trying to rescue these guys. So I'm going to have you just come back over here. Just come back towards the base. We will figure out what to do with you later, but we're just going to have you come this way. And if you can make it this way as the sun, <laughs> right? Maybe you can keep your charge on the way. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool if you could do that. All right. Okay. What do we got left for this contract? 21 days. And we're loading up quite a lot of stuff here. It's nice that we had all the silicon we needed. And then I don't know about the... We have 11 more here. Now 10. Okay, so we're clearly... We've clearly been taking them and loading them. Um, and then the frames are here. 13. Yep. Oh, this right here is not done. Shit. Here we go. Whoopsie. My bad. Here you go. You can output now. There you go. Time to send it. Man, it would be nice to have this constantly, wouldn't it? Man, maybe some, maybe someday. All right, let me see what we got here. So this is filling up. We want to process this faster. We'll go ahead and upgrade it. And then this is obviously not filling up. Well, maybe it kind of is. Oh, it's only, probably only filling up because the, the internal storage was full. Yeah, it wasn't working. So now it will probably not be that way. All right, cool. So we should be able to make more now. Now that I'm sending all that stuff in. Yeah, there we go. Get that going. How's this uh, ship looking now? Did I get everything delivered? 15, 16. And that's awful close. I want that 144,000. I want it bad. <laughs> all right. Hopefully we can, we can get that. The rooms require... A oh, hang on. Electricity and oxygen for the life support systems to work. Let's start with electricity. I've done all this stuff. You need to find a vein of water ice and mine it. To do this, you must... All right, so we didn't do that yet. I, I'm not mining the, the water vein yet, but that's okay. So I know where this is. Get out of my way. All right, I know where the water is. So the ice is right here. And we need to put it, put it right into this, right? That was the whole plan. So uh, we got a little bit of cash. Not much. 11,000, man. Uh, uh, maybe we wait until this is done. I think we wait until this is done to do it. And honestly, I think I maybe wait until the expedition center is done because I, I need that building too, right? I think I'm going to need that building right here. Okay. Um, expedition control center takes 80 steel, 180 concrete, 45 silicon, uh, 14 components. You know what? It's time. It's time to embrace Wait, hang on. Do we have the discount yet? We do not have the international trading license yet. I need that discount. All right. When we get the discount from the international trading license, which, you know, we need a lot of, we need a lot of social for that. Uh, but when we have that, we will buy the resources for it. In the meantime, though, we'll just keep chugging along, producing what we can produce, I suppose. And uh, 18... It'll, it'll happen, man. Two more. Come on. Two more components is all we need. And then we'll satisfy that. And we'll do it well within the, the time for the bonus, too. So that's going to be great. Bound by purpose. 
I have enough micro circuits for this one. I might have to, might be able to buy the titanium for this, but I, I'm thinking about buying some of the resources for that expedition center so I can get it done faster. Cause I, I need that for the survivors. We're running out of time, 74. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. We're at 19. As soon as they bring the 20th over here, I'm going to drop that building down. So logistics, I'm going to build it. Let's build it like maybe over here. It's a little far away, but I'm going to do it. Maybe like right over here. Maybe face it this direction. Ooh, we can face it this direction. Uh, yeah, maybe. Let's face it this way. No, because it looks like the question mark comes out on that side. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it here. It's fine. This is where this building is going. All right, so all resources are now going to be pushed towards getting the expedition center online. Okay. Excellent news. Were we given another contract? Contract completed. New available. New one available. Starfish. Starfish. Two hundred and eighty-two thousand credits. But they want nanotubes. I don't know how to make nanotubes. And given how much they're paying for them, I'm going to guess they're pretty damn expensive. I probably can't. How much does it cost to buy 60 nanotubes with my prices? I'm bef this is pre-discount. This is actually a good comparison. We'll have to see what the discount would be. So, of course, the, the market's dynamic here, right? So it's kind of fluctuating. Um, so nanotubes, if I was to buy 60 of them for this mission, 74,000 is not bad, honestly. Maybe we buy them. That's not bad. I mean, if we're going to get paid this much, I, I have to obviously have to have the plates, but I'm making the plates. I can make the plates. And I got 50 days for this thing. And then even if I don't get it in 50 days, it's still 235. I'm going to buy them. Right? I don't have 60 grand, though. Do I have 60 grand? I have 60 grand. That is tempting. Oh, man. That is really tempting. I think I will buy the components because I want, I want this building up faster. So tell you what, why don't we spend some money in the market? It's probably really stupid to do, but we're going to do it. I'm going to buy 60 nanotubes because why not? Uh, and then I'm going to buy, let's say, let's get a boost and buy 12 components. Let's do that. All right. We bought them. It's done. Cargo pods dropping right here. <laughs> I did a thing. I spent money, but when that when we drop that pod down, right? When we drop the ooh, confirm cargo unload. What's this? Cargo? I have more? You're going to send me two? Oh, it's the truck. Oh, right, of course. The truck is coming back. Uh, we have yeah, 100 rare earth metals, uh, 15 titanium plates, 30 silicon, and 35 steel coming in from that. All right. Awesome. Well, we've already gathered the steel that we needed for this building. And we have 14 components to deliver. There are 12 in here, so maybe they'll, you know, grab them from here eventually. <laughs> but the 60 nanotubes, hey. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. So this thing ran out of power right as it got here. Um, can I run a scan while it's, while it's out of power? It looks like I can. It's, it's, looks like it's got some kind of readout there. Um, can I do the geological exploration? Oh, what is this? What is this view? Okay. So aluminum oxide maybe is over here. Titanium is not there. No iron, no silicon, rare earth metals. Okay, there's something there, maybe. Water, ice. But there's aluminum over here. It looks like a pretty good amount. So I guess we got that kind of data from this. That's interesting. Okay, cool. I'm not sure what to do with that. Maybe when we do expeditions, we can set up outposts and stuff, right? Maybe that's a thing we can do. Uh, okay. So, yeah, we, we have to build this. This is the, the water tank. We have 59,000 left. Let's get our water system set up now that we can. So, I'm going to go ahead and go like this. Mining, extra, ice extractor. And we want the slag to go that way. Yep. 
so we're gonna go like this with our this is our ice extractor this is the right machine to do it i think and then we want the conveyor belt to come out over and then over and then up well that's not quite what i wanted can i cancel no i just cancel all i guess i want to like re retrace the segment i want it to hug this this conveyor belt is what i'd like it to do there you go and then straight through here uh we can we can go up here uh eh, i can always mine this out a little bit more i guess make it straight that wouldn't be a bad deal we can mine this out to go straight let's uh go to mining mode here we're just gonna go like this just to make that straight and then we'll go do the eraser through here and like right there cool and do i have a mining bot let's get one mining bot so that we can have that out and then we can bring that's gonna allow us to get the ice in there good uh you huh, i need a little bit more a little bit more distance here uh let's go here with it yes here with it should be fine and then from there to there okay great 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 67 days man 67 freaking days left we need to hook this gigantic building up to power which i can do right there excellent okay it says director the expedition center was able to detect an unusual signal we found the Evermoon 1B complex, a small scientific station designed to operate autonomously in extreme conditions. It could be where the MT4 base personnel could have taken shelter. So searching for survivors, we need to go to Evermoon 1B is what it says. Okay. So back out and uh, this view, man. <laughs> Uh, all right, we're going to take this and I need to find Evermoon 1B. Where are, where is Evermoon 1B? Right down here. Oh my God. That's your destination. Good luck. And then I probably could take the cargo truck down there. Probably. Now that we do have ice mining operations, we need to study the tech behind life support systems. Open the research panel and select life support systems to start the research. Oh, I've already done all those things, but, then build but thank the you. Ice smelter. Now it's time for life support. Yeah, system. I did that. Produce water, water oxygen. oxygen, but it's still not enough to make uh, the room livable. Install, install ventilation the modules. Okay. Ventilation modules. Uh, I didn't do that. Uh, ventilation right here. Add some oxygen indoors. Okay. It can be built on a wall. Cost is pretty mild. I guess I have to put this in here to like get the oxygen from here through the rest of the building. So I'll put one there and uh, put one in there. Okay, try that. Uh, why are you red? Seriously, why are you red? Um, hang on, we got this mined out now, right? Can I can I put my my belt right across this? I can. Yes, I can. Right into there. Yep, like that. Boom, done. Okay, belt is completed. Uh, let's get the m mining drone to be back doing the good work for us that we want. And now we have ice coming down the conveyor. And that ice will Director, come all the way over here. Room equipped with the necessary life support systems. Now all that's left is to get the station crew there. Excellent. I don't know what the red one means. Normally it just means it doesn't have any power. But it should have power. This building has... This thing is giving it power. Does it need power hooked directly to this room too? Even though the whole thing is connected? It shouldn't need that, right? Maybe maybe we'll see what happens when it has water. Once the water comes in, we'll see if that changes anything. Because this requires water to, to operate, you know? So maybe once the water comes in... Uh, if the water comes in... Water? In the tank, please? No? Hang on, are you, are you moving again? You are moving again. Oh, and the sun is going to just keep coming right at you just as you move. Perfect. All the way down here. Yep, Evermoon 1B. Director, it's urgent. We uh -oh. have made hard landing. There are injured. The emergency beacon is faulty. We are approximately south of the repeater and west of your base. Satellite navigation is down. Unable to determine coordinates. 
Urgent evacuation is required. Okay. You are south of the repeater, west of my Must base. Evacuate the crew immediately, but how do we locate them without an emergency signal? Well, we do this. I've been updating do this. the intel relentlessly, yeah. but so far I've got nothing. We know roughly where they landed. We should send a scout rover there and try to find them. Yep, I'm Director doing that right now. The proximity scanner emits a focused beam of electromagnetic waves that propagate radially to scan the surrounding area. Mm, this when doesn't make sense. When waves encounter an object within the scanning range, the LPS visually displays the object to the user. I'm going to break these down and rebuild them. I, I think they're bugged. This doesn't make sense. Those things should be working. Uh, real quick. Life support, electrolysis. Put that back right there. Put that back right in there. Director Lunar, when a hidden object is close enough to the rover. I got it. I know how that works. Um, water. Uh, right here. Same place. Uh, they should work right away. Uh, th they shouldn't need any time here. Um, we'll get them. We'll get them built again. See if that helps with anything at all. We got five components. We got plates coming in, looking pretty good. Everything else is working fine. Concrete's being made. Yep. Got even more. Some regolith left over there. Okay, perfect. How are we doing over here? You're full. And you're so you're not you're not generating fast enough. Let's uh let's help that along. Yep, you guys are waiting for materials now, so we'll upgrade this one and hopefully that it can kick it out faster. That should help us with our steel production a little bit more. How are we doing over here? You're waiting. Okay, so I need another one of these things. Single regolith. Let's do it. Uh, we're going to do right here, and I should be able to go like that. And then what I want to do is, actually I haven't done it yet, we're going to take you into here, and then you into here. We're going to share that on the side, all right? And then we're going to go in and take this belt and just put it in there, I guess. All right, we'll have that built too. And then maybe we'll just have to upgrade it immediately, but we'll just build that too. And then from there, we should have you come out and then over. Nope. Have you come out and then over like that. Oh, that's, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Like that. Yep. Okay, cool. And you are doing silicon and you need power. There you go. All right. Hopefully that takes care of a little bit of inefficiencies with silicon now. Are these working? They're not complaining anymore. Right now we have water. Okay, good. So it's just a little, just a little bug. Sometimes you place things and they don't work. But there we go. We now have oxygen. Let's check oxygen. It's green in here. I guess that's a good thing. It's red in here, which is odd. But all right, fine. Do I need? I don't know. This is a utility room, but I guess we're just pumping oxygen in here. Um, water supply seems good. Power supply. Everything. I mean, it, it it should transcend through the whole thing. You know, so if you have buildings that are connected to other buildings, it, it just, just all work with the electricity. So, all right, cool. Everything's fine there on the map. Let's test this out. Where, oh, where could they be? Hidden object scan. Uh, okay. There's a spike right here. So I will we'll move, we'll move this way. Get the cargo ship moving with us or cargo, whatever it is. Cargo truck, move that with us. Huh? Can you find him? Ah, there we go. We got a ping. Uh, I think we have to get closer though. Let's get a little closer. Come on. Get there. Locate. There it is. Emergency landing site. Cool. We got four colonists and some resources. Outstanding. Okay. To my knowledge, right? At this point, <clears throat> the Rover Scout he can't hold any people right that's what this is for um so this needs the expedition to go rescue them so start the expedition uh we're gonna rescue colonists we got shane axel vicus kana rolando beatrice and uh corinne terry or tori tori and uh they have contracts for as money look at their advanced skills Ooh, what do we use the skills for here let's pick them up and uh We'll send that out to go get him. All right. So that should take care of that. To my knowledge then, right, this is useless now. So Rover Scout, come down here and figure out what's down there. 
you should be able to get there before your batteries die because it's full batteries and uh eh, more than half the day left for you so i'm hoping you can get there in time <clears throat> so we have people being picked up and being brought here that's happening what are we going to do with that well over here i would very much like to and I, we're running near the end of the video so we're going to do this next time um because this is too long of a video now at this point um but what we're going to do is uh we're going to dress this up we need to put in like couches for them to relax in i need a kitchen i need their hydroponic stuff so that they can grow their own food and and make their own food relax a music box maybe i don't know like there's stuff in here that we can that we can build all right there's recreation stuff you got lots of different things that are available there's some research that we can do to get better and bigger better stuff um i assume not all of these things are in the game because i don't see well i mean if I go down the social tree, medical block and bunk beds is what I kind of want to get to right after I got my international trading license. Uh, but it's, I think it's like stuff down here, right? You can see the icons and stuff. I was looking at this earlier and uh, there's a lot of stuff here that's not installed in the game right now because it's past the demo. So we're not going to be able to implement that, but we can get the basics done. And uh, one of those basics is, of course, the beds and stuff. So we're going to want to get that, but we don't need that for them to survive. We just need that for them to be comfortable at the moment. So we have everything installed. We have everything ready for them to survive right now. We have a lot of steel. We have a lot of plates. Um, we have a good amount of concrete, right? I, I mean, I have the ability, I think, to do <clears throat> some pretty cool contracts. Since I have the nanotubes, right? <laughs> Since we have the nanotubes, Let's land this sucker. <laughs> we'll give you the nanotubes, which we paid a lot less than we're going to be paid for this contract for. And then, you know, we don't have all the titanium plates, but we can give you what you what we have, which is, you know, 63, 64 of them, I guess. Right. We can we can load this up with let's like let's try 70, you know, and then we'll just give you the rest after that. So that's fine. Um, of course, if I leave it here, then it's still that just leave it here man just do it <laughs> just bring it down give them the nanotubes that we paid for there you go take the nanotubes <laughs> i love it okay anyway that's gonna do it for this video so next video we're officially rescuing people all right we got this emergency stop which has people on board yep it's on its way back with people on board and then we have this which is going to come down all the way down here to see whether or not the crew that we're supposed to be rescuing at the end of the next 57 days we're going to see whether or not that crew is alive and whether it's over there and uh then we gotta go from there uh, as far as anything else to build on the surface we can take a look at that um i think there is uh there's a repeater right which is uh provides communication with lunar orbital satellites necessary for the connection with other objects and transportation navigation all that stuff seems pretty cool we could look at that that kind of looks like maybe what this used to be maybe i don't know but we could look at building this thing too it hasn't told me to do this so i kind of want to wait till it does but so far uh game's looking pretty good i'm having fun with it i hope you guys are too all right and we'll see ya bye bye